Hi, this is David Bonacciaro. Welcome to the third video in the Market Risk Measurement and Management topic. This video is 5C. It published on March 10 and can be downloaded at any time. So we continue in sequence with the study guide. That means we have two chapters that reappear from Jorian's textbook. So again, not the handbook. The handbook formally does not appear on the Ames. So this is the third edition of the value at risk and two chapters that reappear on value at risk, back testing and VAR mapping. Not long chapters, although we know from experience that these are dense chapters with that uh, do give some difficulty and challenge um, to new learners, new exposure to VAR. And unfortunately, I can't really speak to the testability because while they've been assigned and historically they've been assigned, frankly, um, they're manifestation on the exam has been pretty low, especially with the VAR mapping. Because another one of those topics is difficult to fit into a three minute quiz. And so, of course, we need to be familiar with them. Although I wouldn't recommend spending over, an over amount of your time on, on these topics, especially the VAR mapping, unless you have another agenda. But if your agenda is the exam, I would frankly give the VAR mapping the superficial treatment that it deserves. And so, as usual, uh, learning spreadsheets associated with this, 5C1 and 5C2, VAR back test and VAR mapping, and they are really where I've replicated examples in Jorian's chapters. So we start with chapter six, define back testing and the exceptions and explain the importance of back testing VAR models. So model validation is the process of checking whether a model is adequate. And then in terms of just the definition of validation, Jorian has as types of that uh, of model validation back testing, stress testing, and independent review and oversight. And so in this chapter, we're most concerned with back testing. Stress testing he devotes to another chapter. And so back testing is specifically when we compare actual historical losses to projected losses. So a back test really implies that we have some historical performance a historical database in order with which to evaluate. So a key term here is exceptions or depending uh, synonymously exceedances. So exceptions are the number of loss observations that exceed the VAR. And hopefully this is familiar because when we defined VAR, right, we said that for example a 95% VAR means 5% of the time we expect the loss to exceed the VAR. So exceptions, the existence of exceptions is not a problem itself. We expect ex exceptions. The issue is how many do we have more than we would expect from an accurate model. So for example, if our VAR model is perfectly calibrated, then a 95% daily VAR, and notice I color code that because notice how succinct that is, the specification of a value at risk. Remember, we've always said there's two design decisions, a confidence, which would just as easily express that as a 5% significance because we know it's one tailed. So we've got the confidence and we've also got the horizon. When we say VAR, it really helps to have to be to have a complete and precise specification we want the confidence and the horizon and we've got that there so a 95 percent daily var should be exceeded about 13 days per year how do we get that well we assume 250 true trading days per year and an, it, it, we decided to set our var or we produced our VAR based on this calibration. So we expect 5% of the time losses to exceed the VAR. We ex expect 5% exceptions or 5% of the 252 or 12 or 13 would be about the mean expectation for the number of exceedances. So you can see that's still quite a few. A 95% daily VAR expects quite a few exceptions or exceedances during the year. Now, if we want a more confidence, then that daily VAR number is going to be, that loss number is going to be higher. And we're going to expect that to only be exceeded about eight days or three times. Or I'm sorry, I changed my 95% uh, daily VAR should be exceeded about eight days every in, in a three year um, a period. Three years times 252 trading days times the 1% significance equals about eight exceptions.